As a business owner, you are likely either extremely busy because there's been greater demand for your product or service due to the circumstances that we're in, or you're living in a cloud of uncertainty and you're not sure what the future holds. Either way, I just want you to know that I'm with you. And I know we've all heard that quite a bit, and I do mean it um, from the bottom of my heart, quite honestly. As I have come on, I mean, I make these videos. Hey, Dominic Cummins. Yes, here I am making a video again. Shout out to you. But as I come out and I make these videos, I know a lot of the time I come out and I'm all excited and a lot of people are suffering. So I don't want to come across that I don't understand or feel the pain that you're feeling. I do, I promise. In fact, I could, it's making me emotional. But I with all sincerity, feel that there is promise. And there's a lot of reasons that we have a lot to look forward to. And um, I just want, first of all, want you to know that and believe that. Um, but th that's not why I'm making this video right now. But what I wanted to share also in addition to, hey, I get it, I, I, I feel the gravity of what's happening. I also wanna share the part of my heart that does come out with this burst of energy to make my normal videos. Um, and that is that as business owners, we have a really unique opportunity right now. If you are taking the approach that you want to wait and see, you know, you can do that. I and mean, we all have to do what we feel comfortable with. However, I would push to say that right now is a better time than ever to take action. We, as business owners, a lot of us have found ourselves with a little more time than usual and how we're spending it, you know, is up to us. But if you are finding that you have more time than money, there's a lot of ways to put that to good use. So one thing that I have committed myself to doing right now and I'm actually really excited about it, is I'm putting a lot, most of my time and energy into helping business owners podcast. So whether you've tried to podcast in the past and for whatever reason it didn't stick, or if you've always dreamt of starting a podcast, or you've always wanted to start a podcast, or you're just curious about it, I am gonna just tell you about something here in a minute, but either way, um, Podcasting is such a unique opportunity, and I think it'll do two things for you if, you, if you're able to pull yourself together and, and start sooner than later. One thing is that you're gonna be able to build relationships and connect with people in a really unique way that you can't do in other modes of business growth strategies. The other thing is that you are going to be able to be building an audience, connecting with and getting in front of the right people right now instead of waiting. So imagine this, you have all this, all these choices to make right now. Like, what do I do? Do I take action? Do I not take action? Where do I put my time? Where do I put the, the amount of money that I am willing to spend? Where am I going to put it? Well, with podcasting, the one of the main reasons that I feel that it is so powerful is that you're able to actually get an ROI bef just by doing interviews. Um, now, I am just talking about podcasts based on interviews and I have a whole list of reasons why I think that's the absolute way to go. But if you don't, that's fine too. But if you are talking about doing an interview-based podcast, keep listening, otherwise you're not gonna probably care about what I have to say. But, but when you do it that way, you're able to collect on the ROI just in the process of doing the interviews. And then you think about the monetization opportunities by doing the podcast and then the whole sales funnel idea of it as you're uh, moving your audience through that, as well as the ongoing promotion and, and literally that lives forever. So you have a choice to either kind of hang out and wait and see. And then as things start to pick up, you're gonna be with that big movement of people who waited and then as things start to get busier, you're gonna be going, okay, so now what do I do? You know, what, how should I approach this? Whereas if you start now, you are building a machine that when the time comes and things start to change and, and, and you're able to get some movement, you're not worried about 
what is this big, cool podcasting thing I can do? You're going to be on to the races. You're going to be converting these clients. You're going to be, you know, reaching out to your audience and selling more and getting in front of even more people and getting even cooler uh, interviews. So it's going to put you so far ahead. And, you know, you think about it at that time, that's not the time to build something great. That's going to be the time to reap the rewards, right? So you want to plant the seeds now and then go out there and reap the harvest in the end. So I have three ways that we can help you and, and we can talk about more of that later. But if you are interested in having a conversation about this, I am offering a limited number of a one-on-one -on -one consultations for one hour and we'll talk about concept, format, and prospecting. So reach out and let me know if that's something that would, would uh, be helpful and useful for you to learn more about and I would just be more than happy to talk to you more about it. So be safe, be well, and I truly believe the best is yet to come.